But Jim was mining this donkey which made a colt. And this colt, Jim decided it's not doing nothing more than when the time reach, it will get its right purpose. And here it is, Jim mining his donkey or this colt. And while he was mining this colt, up come two disciples. Then he marks nothing. They begin to lose the colt because the colt was in a particular place. So they begin to lose it. Now with all this cult is for a purpose, they guard in the cult, you know. It's not to say that the careless, you know, they guard in it. And while they guard in it, here it is now, they be, these disciples begin to lose the cult. When they begin to lose it, hello, what are you already doing? Why are you interfering with that? Why are you interfering with the cult? The disciple says, the master have use of it. Instantly, go ahead. Go ahead. The cult was placed there for the use of Jesus and nobody else can use it. Jim, in his working in it, who no, the Bible didn't say if Jim had a dream. The Bible didn't say if Jim had a vision. It didn't say if he have a revelation, but Jim know that it had a purpose for this cult, and the purpose is a, according to Baptist. The purpose is a ripening fast and unfolding on every hour. And today is the day. Go ahead, fix up. Tell the person next to you, I am somebody. You have a purpose. Let me go a little further. Let me turn it around here. However, your purpose is not to gossip. Your purpose is not to old talk. Your purpose is not to lie. Your purpose is not to, to have malice and envy and hypocrisy. That's not your purpose. But you have a purpose. That must be for the glorification of the works of God. The Bible says in Romans 12, in 1 Corinthians 12, in Ephesians 4, we are all members of one body. And the purpose of the gathering of the members is so that we, each one of us, must be able to strengthen the other one that the whole body will become perfect. So sometimes when somebody cry, somebody have to wipe your face. Oh, you no rag? All right. Use mine. Oh God, you fall? Dust your knee. Whoosh. I'm happy for your girl. But sometimes we have to rebuke one another too, you know. Sometimes we have to encourage each other. Sometimes we have to rebuke. Sometimes we have to, but we need to recognize that I am somebody. Before I go further, sorry, go ahead, Sister Nico. Let me finish off this first. Mike. And they said, the Lord had need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the colt. And they set, and they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, he even now added the descent of Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud, loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto them, Pause. Master. Pause. We're coming back to that part. You can sit down again. 
Now, when they brought the cold, Jesus went to sit down on the cold. But according to scriptures, somebody take their clothes off and put it on the cold so that Jesus will sit on the clothes that is on the cold. That's one. The next thing, as the cold now going into Jerusalem, we call it Palm Sunday. As they ride it into Jerusalem, the people that saw Jesus, the disciples in front, and they're singing, Hosanna to the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. The people begin to cut branch of palm and spread it on the ground. And some people take their clothes off and spread it on the ground. I am somebody. I am somebody. It seemed as though that people didn't understand what was going on. But here it is. The people was spreading, or let me say, in, in our day, day today, we say that we spread the red carpet for the king or the queen or the, this high dignitary to come on. The people spread the palm and their clothes for Jesus, who not even walking, but the call to be walking on, to be ushered in. Each person, even though they might not have been seen as someone with good value. Or they might have been looked upon as nobody. Being present at that time, they had a purpose. I will spread my coat. I will spread my cloak. I, 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 my cloak and, and all of that, so I will cut down some palm and I will spread it. Because is, is, is Jesus fasting? Is Jesus the Son of God? The Son of David? Worse yet, we recently hear a man dead until he begin to stink. Three days pass. And this man called Jesus went by the tomb of the man and could stand up tell them to roll away the stone and after they rolled away the stone the man looked at the, at the tomb and said Lazarus come forth and we never see that before we see when you know that he wears them up we see he raised the blind. He, 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 he drive out leprosy. But we never see dead what start to rot. He called it back to order. So everybody, Jesus, 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 I have a purpose. Therefore, I am somebody. Continue to send code. This is the punchline here. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitudes said unto him, Master, rebuke the disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you, if these should... Open. What was... And he said, and he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when Praise he... Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is where I want to reach. If you don't realize that you are somebody, brethren, if you don't realize that you are somebody, if I don't realize that I am somebody, here is what's going to happen. The stone will cry out to let God know, I am somebody. This is what I want to reach. If I can't realize that I have a purpose, that I have a calling, that I have something God made me above, snake and dog and bird and lion and tiger and all these things if 
Jesus was trying to allow the, the priests of the day, the scribes, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, understand that, hello, somebody is crying. Somebody is praising. Somebody is calling. But if you don't want them to do it, then the nobody that is the stone rock, it can do nothing. Despite how much I hit it, despite how much I, call, I, I kick it, despite what I do, this cannot say nothing. It cannot feel nothing. It cannot nothing because it is dead. But I am alive. The funny thing is, the psalmist says, the trees give God praise. The birds give God praise. But you ever recognize a dead tree? The tree dead, it's still standing up and it have all the branches, the leaves drop off. And the tree right there. And then all of a sudden, when the breeze blow, you just see the, the, the tree start, it start to move and it, it start to rub and it start to make a song. You know the dead tree and all praising God? Tell your neighbor, I am somebody. I am Hello, I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. I am somebody. Let me go a little further. While we have to be somebody, and you in TV land, listen to this. While we have to be somebody, it has some people that they, they, they had reached to a place where they realized that there is somebody. But then all of a sudden, because God give them a little gift, because God give them a little talent, because God give them a little ability, they begin to believe that, well, if I don't come, nothing can happen. You, you, you ever meet people like that? If I don't go in the kitchen, no food can cook. If I, if I don't sweep, the church wouldn't clean. If I don't preach, you wouldn't hear a good word. If I don't pray, nobody would get healed. Anytime someone reached to a level like that, they had passed through being somebody to go back to the place of being nobody. So you have to be careful where you stand up. Don't be overzealous with yourself. Don't, be, don't feel that you, listen, you ever hear about a, a king called Nebuchadnezzar? Nebuchadnezzar, not only was he king of Babylon, but Nebuchadnezzar had all the other kingdoms under his rule because he had gained victory over them. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And when he had this dream, he had this dream with this big tree and everything coming and resting in the tree and all like that. And he couldn't understand, so he called Daniel and Daniel interpret the dream for him. But after Daniel given the interpretation, you know, like he forgets. So the king had a feast. And as the king had this feast, it has some people listen. When you see it has certain things going on, they say, eh, eh, well, I could show myself today. As somebody working and, and all the time you, you, you hardly had anything, everybody helping you, they're working with you, they're working with you. But all of a sudden, God bless you, you get a good job. God bless you, you get a good position. God bless you, you reach in the right circle. And when now, as you reach in this place, you should render help to others. Remember Queen Esther? I'm coming back to Nebuchadnezzar. Remember Queen Esther? When she heard that the Israelites were going through, she said, all right, okay. But Mordecai said, don't feel because you're the queen. It will happen to you, you know, because whether you're, you're, you're the queen or you're down here sweeping dust, you're still as Israelite. So it doesn't matter where you are. You're still one of us. 
and what I meet you today, it could hit you tomorrow. So when I start begin, oh Lord, you, for a while you have lost myself. She begin to sit down. She begin to think. She begin to look. Because before I was nobody. When the king chose me, I become somebody. But I get so overzealous, but I reach back to nobody. But wait now. Oh, shucks, I somebody. So she begin to think. And then she begin to talk to Mordecai. Look here, I'm going into three-day fasting. And when I'm going to the three-day fasting, I want you and Israel to go in three-day fasting with me. I'm going to do something. Look here, this thing, what I'm going to do. If God is not on my side, I sure will die. But I'm going to do it nonetheless. So fast with me. And as they fast with her, the day come when she reach and she decide I'm going to the king. And as she was going to the king, I could imagine she stepping, but in her stepping, baptist with no sin, approach my soul to mercy seat where none can perish there because I'm dealing with death now. But the humble fall before his feet when none can perish there. And she approached the king. And as she approached the king, at that time, if you approach the king, you're there. But you see, favor, favor does make nobody somebody. You don't deserve the, the promotion. You don't deserve the job. You don't deserve to be there. But because of God, when God is for you, who can be against you? When, you, when she stepped before the king, the king looked and he saw his wife. He bid her come. And when she come, she was able to discuss the matter with the king. But here is Nebuchadnezzar. I said, I wasn't leaving that. Nebuchadnezzar had a feast. And he put on his pretty dandan. And he said, yes. Let me step out. And when he step out, I could imagine, it has some people, the Bible talk about the scribes and the Pharisees. They have their garments. But they find people and seeing them enough. So they extend the borders of the garment. They make it a little longer. They make sure that when they step, they don't have the bells around. So it have the tinkling. And they're making sure that you must see them. So I could imagine they put a little more glitter. And as they step, everybody must see them. But the Bible says, when Jesus looked to the scribes and the Pharisees, he says, you look like outside of you, you look nice. You look pretty. But inside of you is, is, is like dead man bones. Nebuchadnezzar come out. He look at his crowd. He look at the, 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 the captains and the kings and the presidents and the, the prime ministers and, 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 and all those people that were there and the queens and, and the, the princes and the princesses and, and he said, Oh, great Babylon! He said, It is I. And it's I. And it's I. And it's I. When you're boasting in I, you're not boasting in God. And anytime you're not boasting in God, because it's self, you will come to nothing. So as he beat his chest, the Bible says, he turned to a beast and went out of the kingdom on four legs. God did that. God. He still was fortunate. Bishop, why you say that? Because like him, King Herod did the same thing. He said, let them disciples know I is the boss. I is the boss. 
I kill this one and I kill that one and I kill and I kill and I kill and I and I and I and I and while he beating his chest I he fall down dead. I am somebody. I am somebody. So Nebuchadnezzar, the great king of Babylon, the boaster is now nobody. Some of those big preachers, after a while in boasting in themselves, God will make you nobody. Some of them big healers, them leaders and mothers, you who, who leave your friends and, I mean, sixteen God hates and seven is an abomination unto him. One of the six is a proud look. God hates. So when you beat your chest, God says, eh, uh, eh. Uh. I give you that, but you think you get yourself? Also, you feel you is somebody now? Well, time for you to know what it means again to be nobody. All you that have titles and say, I am bishop this, and doctor this, and evangelist this, and, and, and all these different titles are this, and, 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 and whatsoever you have, Apostle, whatever your title, you better humble yourself and go back to God. Because God will take high things and bring it down low. But I thank God for mercy. I thank God for favor. I thank God for grace. Why Nebuchadnezzar the beast was out in the wilderness Day and night, a time came when he come to himself and he begin to say, Oh Lord, all praise, all honor, all glory belongs to you. And as Nebuchadnezzar begin to give praise to where it belongs, Nebuchadnezzar now turned from beast back to man and he could have now go back to the throne and sit on the throne tell the person to you I am somebody tell them be careful and not be a nobody It is important not to go to the stage of nobody. When you is a nobody, who wants to be a nobody? Who really wants to be a nobody? But some of the things that you feel making you somebody and making you nothing more than a nobody. You ever recognize after you did all what you did, when you come to Christ, God is start to strip you of all that you know to make you somebody. It are people who love to eat pork, fish, snake, crocodile, dog. When they come to God, God they say you're too nasty. Let me clean you out. All of a sudden they are vegetarian. God is do that. It's that people who, who listen, all they eating is, is veg vegetables. That's all they want. But when they come to God, God they say, hey, I didn't order that for you. Eat a little meat. Put some protein in your body. Yeah, you say you could get it in peas, but I didn't design peas to give you protein. Eat some meat. God have the final say. God has the final say. So, I am somebody. I am somebody. And since I am somebody, to prove 
that I am somebody, whatever I do must count. It must count. You're not going to show off. Uh -huh. Some people who believe that they, are, they must be somebody, believe that they must show off. God don't want you to show off. But God wants whatever you're doing to come for something. When I begin to preach in 1987, when I go somewhere, they will say, hey, hey, look Bishop Dean, stand son. I did not have a problem with that. And I was no short person. I Sure. Look, Bishop Dinson's son. When, I, when they call me, I come, I preach, and I don't preach, I go. When people want me now, they start to ask him, but what is his name? If they did ask me, I would have tell them, but they didn't ask me, so I didn't tell them. What is his name? I don't know. What is his name? I don't know. So when they say, um, brother, we want you to speak, to preach such and such place, but we who we say ask him for, what is your name? And then I will give them a name. And because I give my name, then I become known, not just as Bishop June, Dean Sand's son. I, I was known then as Shepherd Junior. Everybody can preach. Everybody for certain cannot preach. But I will always remember Leader Sam. Leader Sam had a stroke. And I say it so many times, but I will say it again. His whole right side it paralyzed. But Sunday after Sunday, some people, they have all the strength and they can't come. But Sunday after Sunday, because he didn't have no road to go up in the back there. Sunday after Sunday, leader Sam coming to church from the bottom of the step, nobody helping him, and he had a crook stick and one day at a time. Sweet Jesus. He ain't want nobody to help him. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. Leader Sam will come and he will sit down here. And I can't remember seeing a frowns on Leader Sam's face. <laughs> 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 